Hey guys, welcome to Dead Secrets. Uh, it's a horror game that I've been actually playing for, wanting to play for a really long time because the guy actually emailed me, I'm so embarrassed. He emailed me with like, hey, I got this cool game, you might want to get like early access and everything. And I was like, yeah, cool, it looks totally awesome because it looks totally awesome. And then I just completely forgot about it. And then he emailed me again. He's like, you know, the game's releasing like next week. And I was like, shit. And then I really didn't get, I still didn't get to it. And now I was like, okay, finished MDS. What am I gonna do? And I was thinking, you know, I've been uh, playing long Let's Plays now for quite a while, like long games, like at least 15, 20 episode long games. So I wanna do something shorter. I wanna like change it up a little bit. I wanna do some short indie games for a bit. Maybe like two or three games, I don't know. I don't know if I can find enough, but this one is the first off my list because it looks really cool and the guy is awesome. And thank you for giving it to me, guy. <laughs> uh, start. It looks awesome. I love it when they have like the text like fixed in the game. Um, if you see me play Kona, then you know that Paris I really Ford love that. was found dead in his study five days ago. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. This house in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. Okay. If I'm right, there are four major suspects. Graham Wellington, Josie Herrera, Cynthia Peckman, Bobby Sawyer. Okay. I'm not leaving until I find out what happened. Okay. That's us. Okay, wait. I do not walk with WASD. I walk by clicking. Okay. Oh, my arm's broken. In and out. Easy. Just have to find some evidence and get out of here. Small parcel tied tightly with twine. Can't open it with my bare hands. So first of all, I love this style. Like, music's great, atmosphere, done. And then the text is like layered into the game I like. And then the trailer showed some Japanese uh, on masks. If I, is that on? No. What is it? No, no masks are the way around. Uh, and that those are really creepy. You might know them from Fatal Frame 1. Um, I love those and I haven't read what that just said. Whoops. Retired clues found dead in the study. Police ruled death natural. Rand errands, found the body. Okay. Live an assistant, wow. Ex wife, inherited. Ah. Former colleague of Bullard. Okay. Can I read it again? Okay. Oh, I did all the research. Okay, she didn't get credit for it. Old piano blocking the way. Well, can you. Ah, it's so weird that I can't walk. So you have to get the walk icon and then you can walk somewhere, I guess. It's all clicking then. Can't lift this with stuff with one arm. Okay. They sure aren't wasting any time selling his stuff. Oh, look at that! It is Japanese! So, these ward off um, evil curses, is what it says. So that it, they don't get more powerful. So there's something... If it's, if it's used correctly, there should be an evil presence behind this door. This isn't a crime scene. Sure, this door leads to the room where Bullet's body was found, but it's locked. This isn't a crime scene. Okay. It's so weird that you like click through it. Can't leave yet. There's a story. Okay. Oh, that scared me, cats. Oh, drawer is missing its knob. Can't open it. I got a key, small key. Okay, objectives, investigate crime scene. Got it. Whoa, relax. Unlock the door. Those masks. I love those masks. They're so creepy. Kind of feels like they're looking at me. What did they see in the room? Yeah. Quantum mechanics and functional analysis. Not exactly light reading. 
Joe, something is after me. It's creeping around the house, trying to get in. Sure of it. I heard footsteps aside creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. I've taken the IDO focal lenses from their normal location and hidden them in my study. Send you a package that you'll what, that you'll know what to do with. Check the map for the mask. As usual, X marks the spot. Sequence is west, east, north. Okay. Very suspicious. This will be a great hook for my opening. Okay. Paper is so far into the feeder that I can't pull it out. North. Yeah, it's the character for North. Music is very happy, sort of. Clay sets you with a weird face. Never seen a map laid out like this. There's a spot marked. Oh! Huh. It's in Japan. Hey. <laughs> Regular lamp. Issues of the- I love the text like that. Issues of the Journal of Psychology- physio Physiology. And a bunch of medical books with the names I can't pronounce, okay? Wait, go to Japan. Here. Seems like this game is perfect for me because it uses Japanese stuff. Maybe- ah, uh, that's why he contacted me. I feel so bad! It's a small box. Let's get a better look at it on the desk. Okay. Oh, it's even on like a Japanese- wait. He really did his details. It's like on a Japanese pillow thing that you use to put delicate stuff on. Or furniture. You put like cushioning under furniture, like a chair's legs or a heavy table's legs. Or like a couch the legs. Um, because otherwise it'll leave like a square indentation on the tatami mats. So what was it? North? Was it east, west, north or west, east, north? But I need a tile. One of the buttons is missing. But yeah, we're missing east, so we can't do this yet. Okay. Tiny camera lens. Okay. Scissors. Can you use these to open the package in the other room? Oh! Okay, cool. Harris Bullard, I am woodcutter. Your past is caught up with you. It is over. Ooh, ooh. What's this? Who's woodcutter? Oh, you can even look around at this. Huh. Threatening Bullard. Okay. Oh! That's where he was. Oh, there's something in the couch. What is it? Page from a manuscript. The man who could see with his skin. 1926 I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandaged, yet he remained aware of the room around him. We held up signs which he read and fingers which he counted, even when we stood behind him. After the performance I gave him $200 for the secret. He explained that he could see as long as some part of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in the wind or a slight breeze on his face, the subtle motion of hair on his arm. After years of focus and practice, he had developed the ability to form a mental image of his surroundings based only on these slight sensations. Oh, that's cool. This man had achieved a form of IDO focus. Granted, he only had access to a very narrow range of sensory information, but the result was powerful. I immediately resolved to discover the secret of his ability. Now, almost four dec decades later, I am very close. Newspaper clipping. Ayla's Joe found dead in a hotel. Oh no, he got killed. Okay. There's a record player, but no record. So yes, it is a horror game. <laughs> I didn't even say that. I just delved right into it. Diplomas doesn't turn on. Another diploma. Pretty advanced degrees. Nineteen thirty-five. What year are we in? Wait, what? Locked from the other side. There's no keyhole. Okay, let's um check out this closet. Did 
Did someone just knock? Snow woman. Adapted from an original. Oh, I can't read this now. No, I want to. Oh, there's someone outside. Um, love Katie O'Hearn. So, um, yeah. That dude. Isn't that... No. I know the name, but I forgot who it was. Old man and his son climbed a mountain to collect firewood. It began to snow heavily and unable to make it back home. Where do I know that name from? Shit. Uh, they decided to pass the night in a small hut. In the middle of the night, the young man awoke to see that the door had blown open. A tall woman with long hair and a white kimono was leaning over his father, blowing her breath upon him. When, he, when she saw that the son was awake, she said, You are a handsome young man, so I will let you live. But if you ever speak of this to anyone, your life shall be forfeit. In the morning, the young man found his father frozen and dead. He climbed down the mountain alone and never spoke of the episode. A year later, he met and married a young, beautiful girl. They had children together and were happy, but the night of his father's death still weighed heavily on his mind. One night, after having a bit too much to drink, the man told his wife about his encounter with the snow woman. She was furious. You promised not to tell, she screamed, and before his eyes she became the tall woman with long black hair and a white kimono. <gasps> if it were not for our children, I would end your life here and now. I will spare you for their sake, but if anything ever happens to them, you shall pay the price. Ooh. Cool. Looks like one is missing. What is that? I can't. Is it the door? No, it's the window. What? Oh, was it a bird? Jeez. Today's cold and dark. Oh, okay. Appears to be missing. Okay, let's go back. Very good so far. Jeez. What's that sound? What? What did I miss? Did I miss something? How do I use my inventory? Ah. Aha! Kaidan. Ah, horror stories. Oh, is that why I know him? Did he make the Japanese horror stories? What? Why are you on? Can I turn you off? Could have sworn the TV was off before. Yes, it was, and it didn't work. Hey, there's something on the chair. Oh, no, it's just a... Okay. Can't push the book all the way. It's like it's hitting something. There's something jammed way back in there. Flat triangular wedge. Oh, 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 oh. I know where I need that. Walk there. So I think it was east, west, north. No? Then west, east, north? Yeah. Oh! Hi! The lenses fit into the mask's eye socket. It's like a weird pair of goggles. I'm wearing that mask. <gasps> Holy shit! Okay. Whoa, what? Huh. Oh. Okay. What was that? There was something on the painting. Yeah. There was a page taped to the back. Okay. Josie, if you're reading this note, then something must have happened to me. I may be dead or missing. If so, you're the only person who can save our research. The truth is that I'm being threatened. Threatened. I can't do TH. I'm foreign. It started before I left the college. Uh, I get notes every few months from somebody calling himself the woodcutter. What he wants is access to our research. He wants me to turn over our plans for the lunar dream apparatus. Josie, my life's in danger. Woodcutter knows things, secret things about my past that nobody should know. I'll not yield to simple blackmail, but lately the threats have escalated. I am sure that I'm being watched at the house. I sometimes hear things on the other side of the wall. Yesterday, with the mask on, I thought I saw some somebody reaching for me. It's a warning from my subconscious. I'm no longer safe here. I've locked our research. I've locked our research away in safe upstairs. 
I want you to retrieve it and leave. Destroy everything before you go. Burn the house down if you have to. Just get the research and get out of here. Head for a big city where it's easy to hide. Counting on you, Joe. Don't let our work fall into their hands. Woodcutter. Okay. Destroy the research and split. I knew there was more to the story. Whatever Bullard was mixed up in, I bet there's evidence in that safe. Okay. Where's upstairs? Can I see something with the... Better stop and retrieve my notes. Review my notes, okay? Harris Bullard's body was found by Bobby Sawyer? Yeah. Bullard was scared. He was worried about losing his secret. Okay. He was being blackmailed by the woodcutter. What is that supposed to mean? This is some kind of juicy detail I came here to find. To sell the story, I need some real evidence. Let's go check out that safe upstairs. Okay. Here we go. Music. Why? So good. Left or right? Always go left. Is there a mirror? Huh. What do we have here? Dear Diary, today is an anniversary. It was five years ago today that I found Dad's name on an old research paper at the U of C. He had written in it, it in 1933, eight years before I was born. I didn't know he had gone to college. I had never really thought about his life. He was just the name on my birth certificate. Dad ran out on Mama after the war. He had gone off to fight and just never came back. When he stopped writing, Mama thought he'd been killed. I remember her crying at the kitchen table. The war ended. Life went on. Mama died without ever finding out what had happened to him. I used to hate him. Hey, kitty. I used to hate him. Where was I? Hated the idea of him. Hated my mother a little bit, too. I figured that was just a deadbeat who ditched Mama because he didn't want a kid. But when I found his name in the library, something changed. I couldn't stop thinking about him. Deadbeat's dad don't study physics, do they? What is he doing now? What does he look like? Is he married to someone else? Ooh. Came to Kansas to look for her father. Oh, we're in the assistant's room? Oh, shit. Who's that? Oh, okay, wait. Give me a moment. There. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back. I got a Google Hangout thing that I hadn't muted yet. Sorry. Probably heard that. Found something. Bobby, here's your latest chapter all typed up. I think this story is becoming very interesting, and I'm sure you can get it published. I hope you don't mind, but I made a few edits and inserted a few details here and there. I'm looking forward to your next chapter. Crystal Cave. The man had been dead for hours when they found him. He had crawled halfway up Sarah Johnson's porch step before coming to rest just outside the door, his feet dangling off the edge like spaghetti that someone had cooked too long. Ah! Old Sarah just about keeled over when she saw him. Let's see if I'm still recording. Yeah. Uh, the man was inked. Weird lines crisscrossed every inch of his skin like Indian war paint. Every even his eyelids were marked. Tattoos made him look like some African shaman out of National Geographic. Expect except... That he was right, white and was wearing work overalls two sizes too big. Jimmy, the only cop on duty at six in the morning, thought maybe the man had escaped from a chain gang. Jimmy was never the sharpest tool in the shed. Detective Henderson, though, he's smart as a whip. He had photos taken of the body, all naked and everything. He put the pictures up on his wall at the little station in the middle of the town and started moving them around, turning them this way and that until the tattoo edges started to line up. 
It took him three days, but he put it together just like a jigsaw puzzle until the thick lines all covered to the thin lines and the overall shape became clear. Would you believe it? It was a map. That's awesome. When the coroner cut the man open, he found his insides were all twisted into the same map. When they saw it, and they sawed into the man's bone, they found the map there too, etched into a narrow, etched into the marrow like rings on a tree stump. That's how we first found our way to the cave. What? Inspiring fishing rod. That's awesome. I want to read that book. Helping Bobby with his writing. Wow. Okay. Josie's room. Large trunk. Wait, did we open that? Did I? I don't think so. Something is holding it closed. There's a small dial mounted on the front. Okay. Windows paint painted shut. Hero says helicopter may win Vietnam War. Okay. Marine Douglas Big Tom Thompson. Major Thompson is attached to the Marine Helicopter Squadron. Okay, as a leather neck, Thompson destroyed 16 Japanese strong points, killed 75 Japanese on Iwo, Iwo Jima. Wow. Okay. This closet reminds me of The Conjuring. Not much of interest. Okay. Chair looks pretty comfortable, but I don't have time to rest. Oh, the goggles. Wait. Does that mean I have to look at it with the goggles? Hey! It might say reporter on my desk, but I spend most of my time at the standard making coffee for my editor. I'm tired of writing the gossip column. This story is my shot at the big leagues. When I prove that Bullard was murdered, all the big papers will come calling. I'll finally escape this backwater town. This is it. The chance I've been waiting for. Okay. What does it do though? Can't do anything <coughs> anything with it. Let's check the other room. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's not like the game's boring. I'm just tired. I was I was playing Final Fantasy fourteen with Isaac and Dilly and Minx and Chrism. But it kinda makes me tired when I game this much. of logs. You want to light it? Hey, what's up? Oh, that's the thing I need. Cool. Hey. Bill told me to cover Bullard's death, but he's just looking for gossip about the young assistant. But I took it seriously, did the research, followed every lead, like a real journalist would. It paid off. I found something everybody else missed. A note, a half thought, scribbled in the margins of the coroner's draft report. It read, hypothermia in summer? Hmm. That is weird, yeah. Oh, this is safe. Enjoyed reading in front of the fire. Fucking serious. Okay. Jeez. Game. That was way too close for comfort. 
No useful evidence. Why is that open? Emptied already, okay. Picture! You wanna do a puzzle? Wait, what? Is it good enough? Two men on a ship. Okay. Oh, there was something on the back. Oh. Oh, jeez. There's so much. really examine it. Oh, that was not it. No. Okay. Yeah, we did the goggles, lady. That was not fun. I am woodcutter. I know your secret. James Lowry sends his regards. Prime suspect, but his blackmail scheme went south, so he killed Bullard. It's locked. Of course it is. Okay. Get it. We did a test- okay, wait. Bullard, daily log. 64. We did a test run of the idea of focal lenses today. At first we did not know how to interpret the results, but now I believe they are working better than we had anticipated. Instead of an unfiltered stream of sensory information, what we are seeing is subconscious memory. The lenses distort in response to visual stimuli that the wearer has some knowledge of. What? You see what my conscious mind cannot. Josie proposed that what we are really doing is mini mining dreams. Dreams are, after all, a form of ideal focus. At a time when the subconscious comes forward and shows us truth what we might not otherwise recognize. That's true. It's a control mnemonic. Mnemonic. Mnemonic? The mask works pretty well. I could tell that Joyce was dubious at first, but now she understands. Subconscious thought is potentially dangerous to a subject. We will need a physical object to enable the mind to compartmentalize, providing the wearer with some degree of cognitive protection. A permanent augmentation will require a much longer, larger apparatus. We will need some kind of focus mnemonic to help the brain control the deluge of dream information it will receive. Something large and ubiquitous. The moon, perhaps. Dream thoughts? The moon? That's weird, yeah. Is he still there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wish I could walk while wearing the mask. Like, put it on right now and then just look. Wait, maybe I can. No. Can't. Bye. I, uh, when I installed this game on, uh, from Steam, I was like, okay, just turn it on, maybe browse a bit, wait for it to be done. No, it looked, I looked again and it was done, I'm like, huh? The game was only 200 MB. Okay. Ah, uh, we're making a, yeah, Japanese symbol. Okay. Stuff. Ah, oh, the knob! Cool! I know where to use that. Dear Diary, today Dr. Bullard and I build a chassis, ch yeah, chassis, I think, for his new weather device. Weird, as usual. I don't really get why we're building it, but Dr. Bullard doesn't explain. Tomorrow I need to go buy some bottles for the base. Oh, kitty, don't. Uh, Mama's birthday. She would have been 54. I bet she would have liked the work I'm doing now. Hope she's proud. The nightmare again last night. It's been a year, over a year since I had it last, but it never changes. Written about it over and over, but the writing seems to help. Uh, so I'll tell you about it again. Five years old, in our apartment in Chicago. It's dark. I've gotten out of bed, get some water, but I hear something coming from Mama's room. 
peek in and see a tall man standing over. Oh, I hate that. That's like my weakness. I can't. That's so scary. He has his hand around her neck. Hands around her neck. He's breathing hard and in the cold night air. No kitty, stay. I can see his breath. He streams out of his... It streams out of his mouth like smoke. It seems to cover her. There isn't any breath coming from Mama. She's already dead, but he continues to squeeze. Ah! When I was a kid, I thought the dream would go away when I grew up. It hasn't. Occurring dreams about a mother's death. Okay. Wrath's safe combination isn't here. Pretty sure I saw a drawer without a missing knob downstairs. Yes. Crows, fuck off. They should have done like a faster walk by double clicking on the door or something. Oh, what, 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 what do I do? <laughs> what? What? What do I do? Hide. Bed's too low. Oh no, the closet, the closet. Get up, get up. Oh, he's coming to get me. Oh my god, you're so creepy! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I should have hidden the closets. Ending D! Yay, I got killed! By maybe the woodcutter. Continue. Do it again. Okay, so I opened that and now I go here. Checkpoint, th so. Ha 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 Okay, try the closet. I can't see anything. Holy shit! He found me. I thought I was safe there. Shit. Okay, I'll cut it here then, the episode. Because it's, uh... It's the first ending. <laughs> it's good. I guess I should, I should try the other room then? Okay. Maybe the glasses. Hmm. We'll try it in the next episode. Hope you guys like it too. See you guys tomorrow for more. Bye!